Welcome to lesson number 38, Thirds and Seventh Singing Exercise Part 2. You can view the sheet music to this lesson by visiting my website at tjjazzpiano.com or simply clicking the link in the description below. In this week's lesson, we're going to be taking a look at a slight variation on our previous lesson, which took thirds and seventh voicings around the circle of fourths. Our variation comes from a changing of the inversion of the voicing. So instead of starting out on our two chord with a third and seventh voicing, we're going to start out with a seventh and third. So the inversion is going to change for each of our voicings throughout the progression. And the other change is instead of taking the voicing around the circle of fourths, we're going to be taking it down and descending whole steps through all 12 keys. Since I explained how to practice these voicings in our last lesson, I won't be going into as deep a detail in this week's lesson. So if you need a review, please watch lesson number 37 before continuing with this exercise. So the first thing that I like to do when practicing this exercise is simply make sure that I can play all the voicings uh, without really having to put too much mental effort into it. So let's play through the first six keys of the exercise, just simply trying to play relaxed and effortlessly. started. The next step is to sing the root movement without playing it in the left hand. So if you need to play through this exercise one time while playing the left hand and singing, that's fine. But I'm going to just go ahead and start by singing the root movement and playing the thirds and sevenths in my right hand. So let's get our bearings a little bit. Da, da. started. The next step of the exercise is to sing the soprano line or the melody line. So let's get our bearings again. Final step is to sing the middle note of each voicing, which will be our tenor or alto line, depending on how you think about it. Thanks for watching. I do come out with new videos every single week, so if that's something you might be interested in, please feel free to subscribe. Also, if you have any questions or comments about any of my videos, don't hesitate to write me or leave a comment below, and I'd be happy to try and answer your questions.